In this video, I'm going to show you how to style your contact form 7 using CSS, and we're going to cover all the basics like styling the submit button, styling the labels for the fields, styling the input fields themselves, styling the overall form by adding background colors, and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if you're new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture and start styling our contact form 7 forms. I'll see you there. So when you have a basic contact form 7 contact form, it quite often looks something like this. And not just contact form 7, this could be any form. And what I'm going to show you right now is how to change the CSS so the form looks nicer and fits into your theme. Now I'm going to show you kind of a generic example because I don't know what your theme is, I don't know what your theme looks like, but you can use the same principles to style the form for your theme if you know a little bit of CSS. And I'm going to teach you all the stuff you need to know for this example, and hopefully that can transfer to yours. So what I've done here is I've created a whole bunch of Contact Form 7 fields that are available. Regular text field, an email field, a date and time picker field, text area, URL field, telephone, a number field, drop downs, check boxes, radio boxes, file upload. And these are in the submit button. That one's very important. So what I've done, I've created a little blog post over on the blog, and I've got a bunch of styles in here for you. So this first box here is a submit button CSS styles. The second is label text styles. The third is input field styles. The fourth is text area field styles. And we're going to go through these right now one by one and quickly show you what they do. So I'm just going to copy this whole text field, or sorry, the submit button style. And inside of the Divi theme, there's a theme options panel. And at the very bottom of the general tab is a custom CSS box. Now your theme may have a similar custom CSS box, or you may have to go right into the style sheet. If you go to appearance, and then editor. So you can put the styles into the style sheet if you don't have a theme editor where you have the styles. I currently don't have a child theme for Divi, so I'm just going to put it into the theme options in the Divi theme theme options. Scroll to the very bottom in the custom CSS box. I'm just going to paste in the submit button CSS that I have and click on save changes. Go back to the form and this is how the button looks without any styling on this theme. If I refresh this page, we're going to have a nice, big, shiny red button that looks like this. It might not be exactly what you want, but it's a level up from what the default was. And so when you when you read through this, it kind of makes sense what you're reading if you know a little bit of CSS. There's a padding of 15 pixels on top and bottom, 45 pixels left and right, background color of red, text color of white, font size 30, font weight bold, border radius, five pixels, and you can go through and change all of these however you want to. I encourage you to look up a little CSS and just try it out. Just start playing around with it. You can't really break anything with CSS, so you can come in here and change whatever you want. The only thing that's going to happen is this button might look funky, but then you just go back and change whatever you did and then save it again. So it's not a big deal. So that's how we change the color. If we want to change the text in that submit button, I'll quickly show you how to do that. When we edit the contact form, we have the submit button down here. In quotations, we have send. So I'm going to um, change this to get instant access. Just as an example, I'm going to click on save. And I come back out here and refresh this page. Now it says get instant access. So that's how we change the text on the submit button in contact form 7. But now what I want to do is increase the size of my labeled text because it's, it's a little bit small. So I want a little bit bigger. I'm going to pop back to the blog over here. The second one is the label text styles. I'm just going to copy this by clicking this little copy button. Go back to my theme options, paste it in here, click on save changes, and then refresh this page. Now the label text is a lot bigger. And you can pop back in here, you can make it you can make the color green. You can make, uh, you can give it a border of one pixel 
solid blue. You can give them a background color of purple. And this is gonna look terrible, but it's gonna convey the example I'm trying to, or the point I'm trying to make, which is you can style whatever you want. The background color wasn't applied for some reason. However, we did get it to be green, which is what we wanted. We didn't get the border or the background color. So I'm gonna click on one of these labels and click on inspect and try to figure out why that didn't work. So border over here is crossed out. It looks like I have a syntax error. So if I go back to here, I see I didn't have a semicolon after blue. So click on save changes again after I add the semicolon, refresh this page again. And now we have our terrible looking blue borders, purple backgrounds, and it makes the form unreadable. But that's not the point. The point is, this is how you can change those things. So if you wanted to have a bit of a classier background color, you can go ahead and do that, or a nicer border or no border at all. But the, the fact of the matter is you select the labels using this selector here, and you can make them styled however you want. And it's that simple. It's gonna take off that purple because it's very distracting. So now that we have nice big text here, our input fields are a little small. So let's make those bigger. Head back to the blog over here. I have this input field style selector area. I'm gonna click on that copy button and then copy these, paste them into here. Now what this is doing, it's selecting the text fields, text inputs, email input, URL input, telephone input, number input, and drop down input and it's gonna make the font size of all of those 30. So that's saved, refresh this page over here, and we see the font size is big, and it's 30 pixels, and all of them are changed. The telephone field, the URL field, even the input options are now huge. You can change them individually, you can just pull these out, say you don't want that select option to be that big, just cut these from here, get rid of that last comma, and then you can have a new style just for the selects. Maybe you want them to be bigger, but not quite that big. So you want them to be font size, 20 pixels. Save that, refresh the page. Now we have the drop down list down to 20, but everything else is still 30. So that's pretty straightforward. The text area field is a special one. It's not formatted the same as the other input fields, which is kind of counterintuitive. But the way we have that set up is by doing by selecting the form class and then having just text area. So I'm gonna copy this CSS over into the theme options here. Now this is gonna do, it's gonna make the text area 100% wide, color green, which is gonna be the text in the box. I'm just gonna make this red because the labels are now green. And then font size of 20 pixels. Save that, come back over here, refresh this page. Now it's 100%. As you can see, the input fields are not 100%. They stop right here. But the 100% width is way over here. We can start typing in here and it's red, just like we told it to be. And what we can also do is change the border colors. So we have these input fields with a border. If we click on inspect, it's gonna do a little trial run. We have our input field selected in the code down here. Inside element style, I'm gonna choose or type in border color red. So now you see that border color has gone red. So that's how we select it. So if we go back into our input fields right here, we can make them all have a red border. Now the border color is red. At least it will be once it's saved and refreshed. So now they're all red. And again, text area is a special one because you need to select that separately. And I'm gonna make that border color red right here. And if you want the text area to have all the same stuff as the input areas, you also just copy and paste this selector, add a comma right here and then paste the selector there. It's gonna have the same styles as you have for the other input fields. I just separated it just so you have more of an example of how CSS works and what you can do with it. So now we have a bunch of red borders. The URL has a fatter border. I'm not sure why it looks like it has a, a border style on it. We have it selected down here in the code. 
under element style, we can force a regular looking border. So I can put in border, one pixel, solid red, and that double thick border is gone. Number has one as well. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy, uh, or I'm gonna type in border, one pixel, solid red, and apply it to all of the input fields. In fact, I'm gonna change this input right here to have it just border, one pixel, solid red. Save changes. And now the URL and the number should be one pixel, not two like they have. Now they're both one pixel. They still function the same way. They just have their appearance changed. And that's how we can change a lot of the CSS in a contact form. You're also able to change the overall background color if you want. So if I inspect this form again, if, I'm, if, I, if there's something that I didn't style that you want to be able to style, use the inspector, just like I'm doing. So use the inspector, you cl right click on some place that you want to change, then you find out what the class is, or you can just click on the code here and then test it. So if I want to change the background color for the whole form, I'm going to see if this is the one I want. Background color, gray. So that is the one I want. So the class of WPCF7 is going to be the background color for the entire form. One thing to know is the changes you make in the browser here are only valid until you refresh the page and they're only valid for you. A visitor coming to the site does not see a gray background here. You just see it because you're changing this information in the browser. To make it so everybody sees it, we have to come back over here and I'm going to go to the very top and type in WPCF7 and give it a background color of gray. Save changes. And now I refresh this page and now the background color should still be there if I refresh and it is. So we set the background color for the form. So that's how easy it is to style your contact form seven forms. There's clearly a lot of other stuff you can do, a lot of styles you can apply that I didn't cover, but now you understand how to select each component of the form and sky's the limit with the styles you can do. So I encourage you to get out there and start playing around with it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. Hit that card that just appeared up in the top right because there's some free WordPress resources for you to download. And until next time, keep crushing it with WordPress, and I will see you in the next video.